welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a winter inspired makeup tutorial. This look features a bold cat eye, a little bit of sparkle, and of course a dark plum lip. I hope that you guys do enjoy this tutorial. All of the details and products used will be listed in the bottom bar below. Don't forget to click that red button right underneath this video to subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. Starting with my brows and foundation already done, the first thing that I'm doing is taking NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the color Glow and I'm placing this on my eyelids. This is going to act as my eyeshadow primer. And the first color that I'm picking up is the color Buck on my E40 Blending Brush by Sigma and I'm just going to begin blending this into my crease. I'm using a circular motion working back and forth and just really making sure that I get this color into my crease really well. This will be the only shadow that we'll be using so feel free to add as much as you like. And all this is going to do is just give our eyes a little bit of depth. Next I'm going in with Maybelline's Liquid Eyeliner in the color Black is Black and I'm just going to begin placing this on my upper lash line starting in the middle and working my way inward. I'm using very light strokes here and just connecting each of the small lines. And then once you've got your desired thickness, you can go ahead and begin to create your wing. When making a winged or cat eyeliner, you want to extend your wing from your lower lash line up towards the end of your brow. Once you've got the desired length that you want, what you're going to see me doing next is going in and just connecting that line to the rest of my liner. Feel free to take as much time as you need to get it as perfect as you can just make very short strokes and then just slowly begin to connect them and don't get upset if it's not perfect the first time just be patient and take your time with it and once you're done it should look something like this so once you've got your desired wing liner the next thing that I'm gonna do is go in with a mascara I'm using Rimmel's lash accelerator mascara in the color black this is just going to give my lashes a nice coat before I apply my falsies. Now before I apply my false lashes, I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This one is by Jordana, but any one will do. And I'm going to tight line my eye, just meaning I'm going to line my upper water line what this is going to do is make sure that there aren't any gaps and that upper lash line is as dark as possible. Next I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics 60 color day and night palette and I'm taking a matte burgundy color. If you don't have this palette, any matte burgundy color that you have will work just fine. I'm picking this up on a pencil brush and applying this pretty heavily to my lower lash line and I'm not taking it past the length of my lower lashes. Once you've got that on, you can go ahead and apply your false lashes. And of course, you guys know that I'm using Red Cherry Lashes in number 43. And I'm just going to pop those on right in the middle and then place them on the outer corner with my fingers and then go in with the tweezers and make sure they're nice and snug on that inner corner. And of course, do the same with the other side. And voila, there you go. So next I'm going in with Rimmel's Waterproof Eye Coal in the color Nude. I'm placing this on my lower waterline. And what this is going to do is just help my eyes to look more awake, especially since I put such a dark color on my lower lash line. This glitter is from Sephora. It's just a silver glitter. I'm picking this up on a smudge brush by Sigma and I'm just dabbing that right on top of that burgundy color that I applied earlier. And you can have fun with this step. Apply as little or as much as you like. You can keep it as close to the lash line or bring it down as much as you like. I would personally suggest not bringing it down too far past the length of your lower lashes. 
Next, I'm going back in with that liquid eyeliner that we used earlier, and I'm just going to apply this right on top of that lash band to cover up any glue, as well as help the lashes to blend with my lash line. Following that, I'm taking my favorite mascara, Benefits Bare Real Mascara, and I'm just giving my lower lashes a nice coat. You may be tempted to skip this step, but I can assure you, even if you have the shortest lashes, giving them a nice coat of mascara can really make a world of difference in your makeup look. Moving on to lips, I'm taking Jordana's Lip Liner in the color Cabernet, and I'm just going to apply this to my lips as well as fill them in. And for lipstick, I'm using Milani's lipstick in the color Sangria, and I'm just going to place this plum color right on top of that lip liner. And if you haven't tried Milani lipsticks, I highly suggest it. And to finish off this makeup look, just go ahead and apply your setting spray. Of course, you guys know that I am using Urban Decay's Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray, and once you've got that applied to your face, you are all done. I hope that you guys did enjoy this winter inspired, super quick, super easy makeup tutorial. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. I've got lots of Valentine's Day makeup tutorials in the works for you guys, so definitely keep an eye out for those. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!